Hey, what's good YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector, back with another PSA submission. Today is August 9th. So, one, happy birthday to me. Today I'm 45 years old. And uh, had a really good weekend. We went over to Green Bay, went to family night. Um, got soaked, it just rained like crazy towards the end there. I'm surprised they didn't cancel it. It just thundered and stormed right after we left there. So we got lucky, but uh, we had a lot of fun. It was a really cool weekend with the fam. So today is my birthday and I got in a PSA shipment and we're gonna crack it open and see how we did. Um, I also got a Revolution card grading one in that I'll do another video on as well. So pretty good birthday so far. Let's see if we can get some tens. And I actually have a, a list on this one on what I think I, I got for, um, uh oh, looks like there's a card that did not get graded. <clears throat> we'll see what it says. Um, they give you the little free card saver. And so we got one card that did not get graded. And let's just open that up right now and see which one it is. So we got a Jordan card which says it was altered. So, which means it got clipped somewhere along the lines. Probably on top here. So, I don't know. We'll have to see if I got charged for that or not. I'm not sure if I did, but that's a bummer. All right, so I wasn't gonna get a good grade anyways. So, whatever. This is the uh, Dennis Rodman um, Tops Rockstars Refractor. I thought this one was gonna get a... So this is in a, they put this on a little sleeve on the inside here. You can see the, the bubble around the card there. Um, maybe they do that for die cut ones or the, I don't know if they're going to do that for all of them. I think they did them for all of these now. A couple of these have these on here now. I don't know if I like the looks of that or not, but whatever. So 1997 Topps Rockstars, Dennis Rodman. I picked this off of eBay. I really cleaned this thing up good. I thought it was going to get a 8.5 because I had a line on the face of it somewhere. So near mint eight, so close. But Dennis Rodman's my my PC. Thought this was a really cool looking card, so I wanted to get it slapped up. Uh, next one is Jordan's. What the hell do they got going on here? So they got, they do have like some sort of sleeve that these cards are in which helps them because it looks like it's got a bigger area now we'll have to examine that after this thing um yellow border i thought this was gonna get a seven because it had some white corners on it so but near mid eight take that but i don't know psa man this the card moves around in here now. This, this, this looks like absolute dog shit. All right, not happy how this is working out so far. Dennis Rodman. 
So this one does not have the plastic sleeve in it. This is just regular like it should be. Dennis Rodman, 1988 Fleer. I thought this was gonna get an eight and a half or a nine because it had a scratch line on the right edge. Mint nine, sweet. So this is a $200 card. Just got one of these back in the last submission. So I'll take that. Um, here is a brown border, 1990, starting lineup, and the corners are suspect on it. It was off-centered. I think I was going to get an 8. So near min 8. I was right on that. Seems par for the course for those starting lineup figures. Um, here is a 1988 starting lineup. Um, I was thinking I was going to get a 7 because it was off-centered. But we got an 8. Looks a little on the stainy side too, but got an 8 on that. Uh, Jordan All-Star 1988. I think I was going to get an 8. Um, off-centered and the back top had some white edges on it and we got a nine and we got a near min eight so sweet that's a good that's a great grade for those cards actually um, Scotty Pippen rookie card 88 Fleer I was thinking I was gonna get an eight it had a uh, it's off-centered a bit and it had a yellow print bubble and on the back area, on the bottom, I had some issues on it, but... Woo! Mint 9. Sick. Yeah, I had that, had that bubble too, but I don't know if they... There's the yellow bubble. So, take note, they didn't really degrade for that at all. And plus in the black here, it's kind of white white bubbly type of looking stuff too but that's nice take that uh charles barkley 88 fleer i thought this one looked really nice um i was thinking this was gonna get a 10 because the only thing that looked wrong with it it was off center just a hair but i thought maybe it was close enough and it's not so mint nine for the barkley i thought it looked really good Uh, next is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 88 Fleer. And I thought this was going to get a 9 because I had a little issue on the edge over here. Whoa! Sweet! Gem Mint 10. Well, I thought that little white little nick there was going to make it a, a 9, but... Evidently, they felt it was a 10. Look at that move around a little bit in there, too. But, hey, we'll take a 10. I'm going to complain about it. John Stockton, All-Star, 88 Fleer. Uh, I was thinking a 9. A couple print bubbles. One up there. And um, had some white edges on the top. Near mint eight, so close. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is a submission where I, I I literally submitted some really stupid cards that looks really you know you could probably could have got them for like five bucks now and I, I don't know why I did it I think I was just in a rush to get those out before the price increase happened but this is a 1990 Skybox love the look of this card uh, 1991 I thought I was gonna get a ten. And we got a 10. Nice. Any Gem Mint 10 Jordan 1990 card I will take all day long. That's a beautiful looking card right there. Next up is this. This one is the. 
1991 Fleer. I thought I was gonna get a nine. Ooh, near mint eight. So this thing is a more shit. Cool looking card, but nah, that was a waste of money right there. Um, Magic versus Michael. 91 upper deck. This is one of my favorite looking cards too, of these two guys together. Um, I thought this was gonna get a 10. And we got a nine, damn. Yeah, I don't know. It must have got me for centering or something on here. It is off center to hair, but, and the hologram is a little off, so maybe that's what got me. Everything else looked pretty good on it. Thought. All right. Next one up is Top Stadium Club Michael Jordan, 1992. And I thought we were gonna get a nine. Got some edges, white spots on the face of it. Ooh, all right, we got a nine. Nice. Such an awesome picture. Sorry I'm doing this in the daytime. It's got some glare going on here. Might help a little bit. It's a couple more to go through here. Uh, 1992 Archives, Jordan. This was gonna get a nine. It had some lines on the back, like printing lines or manufacturing lines, and then um, it's off center to hair. So, so near mint eight. Ooh. Yikes. Uh, Jordan Metal ninety six. I thought I was going to get a 10. There's a, just a tiny white spot on the top left corner. Other than that, whoa. <laughs> so 8.5 on this one. And I thought this thing looked perfect, but except for that one little spot. Because I don't see anything jumping out at me that says this is an 8.5. I, I don't. I don't see it. But 8.5. And then last card I got is a Jordan 2001 Topps Chrome, which just, I love the look at this thing. And I thought this was gonna get a nine. And we got a mid nine. So hit the nail on the head on that one too. So overall did pretty good. Um, you know, I think most of these are gonna go up for sale, most likely. Happy about the Jabbar 10 and uh, the Jordan Skybox, that's cool. And then for nines, we got uh, this Jordan, Tops Chrome, Stadium Club, Magic versus Michael. Charles Barkley, nine. Uh, Pippen, nine, and the Robin, nine rookies. That's really nice. That's a few hundred, you know, four or five hundred bucks between the those two. And then on this stack here, I'm surprised this got an 8.5. I thought this was gonna do better. Um, I thought this would have been better too, but that's what it is. Eight. Here's a coaster. <laughs> I don't know why I got that graded for $50. Um, Stockton, All Star. Uh, Jordan 8, that's a good one. Good grade to get on that. Uh, again, starting lineups, man, they just give out 8s like candy on this one. That's all I get on these are 8s. 
So we're gonna start selling those. And then this Rodman card, which I thought looked great, but there is definitely some sort of plastic sleeve or something that they that they put in there on this one and uh, and this card. I mean, it's a totally different case that they used because you can see the there's less of this frosted area that holds the card in place. So I don't know if they like already had it ready to, you know, like this, these two are right in a row. So maybe they're like, oh, well, whatever, just keep it in that. I don't know, weird, but um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about everything. I know I made my money back at least for sure. So. Um, this was my last regular submission I had in PSA. The rest of them are all modern value. Um, it's probably about 300 or, or so more cards there that it'll take a few months yet, I'm sure, if not several months to get back. Um, but um, I got a car Revolution card grading and some HGA ones coming back. So um, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Please subscribe if you have not. That would be great. And then... Um, Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that bell for notifications and um, you'll be notified when I drop new videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Later.